and I discovered that there is actually an ancient code of geometry. And this code of geometry and mathematics you find in every other culture. And with this ancient code, you can translate the knowledge of all the ancient world. And you see that there is one common knowledge. So I call this the primordial culture. And I learned later that it is a theory of science too, of some scientists, that there was one. The geometrical designs were not based in what Plato did, working with solids of six sides, uh, were based on a solid of nine sides. A lot more complex. But what I learned is that these nine sides represent nine possibilities, nine categories of perception. And, our, and they follow a DNA algorithm. So that means that everything that comes out of the combination of these nine possibilities creates a pattern similar to the human DNA. And I remember I saw those patterns before. I was simulating, I wrote a book about this, simulating these patterns and I saw them before somewhere. And it was in the ancient book of the I Ching, the Chinese book. Uh, the collect is the, the book of changes. In theory, this book that explains the Jing and Jan theory um, have a number of codes, I think 64, and these codes are archetypes that represent all the principles of life. And they were used for divination, but actually is a mathematically perfect representation of whatever possibility takes place in the universe. So in every moment, there is a number of these codes that are being experienced. And there is a number of synchronicities in life that take place with these codes. They have been studied by many scientists and everybody says, yeah, well, that's a principle. Uh, it works and it's okay. But still, the Chinese use it for divination. So we cannot deal with divination in life, right? But it was a way to represent reality. And it was binary, male and female. And then I have a system of nine codes, which is beyond binary. The other thing that we have binary in life is our software, bits and bytes, binary. And bits and bytes, for my surprise, do not belong to the way our brain is designed. Our brain is designed non-ary. We have nine main regions in the brain, not two. So all the thoughts that we have in binary, polarity thinking, are uh, not actually helping us to solve problems are limiting us to two options. Our brain will think naturally in more possibilities and will develop and express itself better when there are more possibilities there.